zero zero eight Lego Naruto, and I haven't posted any videos in a long time, but now I am. So first, I'm going to show you um my version of, of a clone trooper. If I was a clone trooper, this is how I would look like: Commander Antonio, which is my name, all violet. That's my head. Um, right here, it looks like Commander Rias, but it's not. It's violet. It may look red, but it's really, really not. Let me take off the visor. I'll show you that. The visor is violet. It looks like purple a bit. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. Um, we'll get up to the helmet later on. The head, the clone, regular clone trooper face, pulled it on with violet triangle, violet triangle, uh, violet pads, chest pads. Um, belt is a little bit violet and two violet pockets um... a violet oval kind of type shape circle with two, with two lines of the body colored in a, a violet spot with a line coming down on both arms Let's take off the body waist cape I might add purple to this right here not too sure so purple over there purple triangles black on that side and one purple triangle on there I mean violet violet <laughs> it just looks like purple for some reason should have made it purple but I didn't want to black right there just on the same side too all right so let's put the waist cape back on okay for the helmet like I said, again, it looks like Commander Arias, but it's not. Or Jack, I don't know. Colored all violet. Violet fin all the way. Oh yeah, triangles right there, violet. All the way down here, the fin has been colored. Then we have these right here colored. With the little ends out there. And the same thing on that side. Then there's a line coming down from that little circle. Okay. That's pretty much it for that. This is what he would look like if he had hair. Something like that. Well, I could get better hair, so. Like Robin's, I wouldn't use Robin's hair if you wanted to make my hair. Okay, so put it on. Now I'm going to show you the rest of my custom clone troopers. <coughs> Hold on, guys. Here goes Commander Antonio's guns. Two of these. Commando pistols. Alright. Now I'm going to show you my Commander Gree. This is his gun. He'll have a better one later. Later on. A decal was made. I made that I made. Um, we're first gonna start off with the legs. Put some green pads right there, knee pads. Um, this is a sash, and I got a decal. But thanks, Michael MGF, I think that's it, what his username is for teaching me how to make a decal. I'm using printing paper and all purpose labels. So, if you can find this video on how to make decals, Lego decals, right here, I know Command Agree, you can find it. Command Agree has um, ha hair, so I added some red hair right there. The only bad part, I can't get his face tannish, because his face is tan. And this looks kind of good because it's faded and he's old. And we're talking about Agree here, come on. It's the best clone trooper I think there is. Well, except for Com Lieutenant Dan. But Command Agree is still good. And his gun. I forgot to put the sash on, so. And that's how you build this. Oh, the helmet. Yeah, green. Green triangles on the sides and stuff. Now for my custom 501st trooper. He has these 
I'm going to start off with the helmet. Blue fin. Not all the way down, though. I didn't do it. Blue lines covering it. I mean, trace the black with blue over it and stuff. Um, that's all about the helmet. For the body, for the arms, blue stripes. Close up face. Color those blue lines right there. Then a blue belt right there and two blue pockets. Blue triangles for knee pads and blue lines right there and then blue over there. If you can see that, then he has a blaster. That's my 501st trooper. The next troopers I'll be making is Com Lieutenant Dan, um, Clone um, Rias, Commander Stone, and that's all. So, alright. Peace. Bye.